What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here, and I have another Let's Build, and today we are working at Fort Sanctuary. Now, I am... Um, <clears throat> first, I want to say um, thanks for uh, tuning in, because, uh, well, as you guys know, it's been quite a while since I've done a Fallout video, and I wanted to come back to where it all began sanctuary because that's where we all start this frigging game all right so real quick i'm going to go over some of the mods that i'm going to be using in this uh in this video in this build and so i'm kind of scrolling through the list here and i am looking for some of the ones that i know specifically like i will be using pocket vehicles because the ufo is the bomb when you're building let me tell you it's a pain in the ass to work with but the fact is you don't have to build scaffolding the stackable brick walls is another one that i'm going to be using and uh you may want to check in on the master plan so that you can get the concrete walls at least and then uh, workshop rearranged. You guys will notice that my menus are different if you're not using workshop rearranged. And it has a bunch of great uh, beams and stuff like that that I'll be using, as well as the Sanctuary River Reclamation uh, project. I will be using that because as uh, well here, I double check. Nope, nothing else. Of course, maybe place anywhere, but uh, but yeah. So. Um, those are, are some of the mods that I'm going to be using and because we are working on the bridge at Sanctuary. And if you've looked at my reclamation project, you know that I took out the wooden bridge and this is what I've built so far. I needed to build a bridge so that people could get across, but I haven't done anything as far as defenses and stuff like that. So we're going to build up the defenses of this bridge in a very different way. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, build mode. And I've kind of edited some of this down so that, uh, yeah, because normally it takes like 45 seconds to a minute before I can actually get into build mode. So there is that. All right, so we're gonna be working a lot in the concrete uh, and the uh, brick slabs. Now here I'm trying to see if I can get this floor to snap but it does not actually snap where I want it to. I wanted it to snap to the pillar, not to the other floor. So, of course, I will jack around with this, and that's too low. Yeah, that's actually underneath where I want to be. So, and it will not go up. No, good. damn it, come on. All right, so nope, that's not gonna work. All right, so I'm trying to see there, and no, I know that it's not going to work, so. Because this right here, that's the height that I want. I want it just above the uh, the uh, barbed wire. There we go. Barbed wire on the other walls there. And that is a... Um, the, those barbed wire walls are from a mod... Oh, God. What did they call it? It's uh, by Evil Viking. Um... They, they snap together really well. They sink into other things. It's very cool. All right. So we're just going to lay some uh, basic floors down here. And I did want to go with the mesh floors to give it, to, you know, show that, okay, this thing is lightweight and stuff because I'm not doing a whole lot of support underneath. But when you're dealing with stone and steel and stuff like that, well, we know that we can build some pretty cool bridges uh, with... Uh, you know, expansions and stuff like that. All right, so now we're going to make our way around this corner. And get rid of that piece. Well, it'll actually snap right up. And you can see that it's just a hair's breadth. Now, one thing I am doing, because I have found that most all flooring that comes from mods is not properly nav meshed, which means that they won't you know, I want guards to move back and forth on this. So I'm only going to be using flooring that came in the game or DLCs. So, um, so yeah, that's why I went with this versus like the stone flooring that I had around the, the back end of the bridge. Because, um, because I want my NPCs to be able to walk on this. And I was hoping that that would snap in and it does not. So we'll go to the thing that I know will snap in. 
the stacked stone horizontal pillars. I will be using a lot of them. That's why I have so much concrete. But they actually snap on top of the floors and I'm trying to keep as much real estate as possible. So on the outside edge, I'm going to keep these, but I'm gonna do a little trick in here in a minute to, uh, to make as much floor space as possible. All right, so we got those. Basically, I'm trying to keep myself from falling down. But I think I'm still in the, uh, in the UFO right now. Yeah, this UFO is actually really, really cool. Uh, the fact that you don't need to build a bunch of scaffolding and stuff like that. You can just kind of go where you want to, where you need to, to build. So there is always that. Hey, I did want to mention, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in a little bit. Um, my video is now sponsored by a marketing company. Yes, Frosty Marketing is the uh, the company that is sponsoring this video and I'll talk a little bit more about them in just a little bit but let's get back to the build here and in this video I am actually going to build both sides but the second side I'm going to speed up that whole process because basically I'm just doing the same thing over again I'm not going to be doing anything different so here you can see I'm putting these these thinner pillars and tucking them underneath it kind of hides some of the, the metal framework and stuff like that. So uh, that is why I'm uh, putting those there. Sometimes it wants to snap to the outside of the framework and that's a pain in the ass, but that's all right. So yeah, um, I will talk about my sponsor more in just a little bit, so uh, stick around for that. And of course I will put a link uh, to their site down in the description. And of course, I can't build anything simple. And that's honestly one of the biggest reasons. You know, you guys should know that I want to make Fallout 4 videos for you. I want to make build videos for you. But I'm not going to make a video just to make a video. I want to make videos that you would be... I want to do builds that you would be interested in. I want to do builds that I am interested in. So, um, so yeah, I, th that's part of the reason why I've been gone for a while is that I just wanted to, you know, let this happen naturally for me to, to figure out some other things. And I will be, um, you know, I have a couple ideas now in my head. So, um, I'm definitely going to be putting out some videos here on, uh, on the reg as it were, as uh, time and, and work allows. But um, I did, uh, I, I, I never want you guys to feel that I have forgotten you. Especially for all of you subscribers that have been around for uh, two years now. Holy crap, it's been over two years. Matter of fact, it was the end of January of 20... 2015? No, 2016? When did the game come out? It came out at the end of 2015. So yeah, January 2016. Was, the end of January 2016 was uh, the first time that I put up my very first YouTube video. So it has been just over two years now. And boy, what a wild ride it's been. I've been through, let's see, uh, two jobs and um, started a couple different companies. So, yeah. All right. So now I'm getting off the uh, jetpack and uh, we're going to start building up the, uh, the walls to protect these guards. And now here's one of those. I missed this edit <laughs> going back into build mode where it takes for frigging ever. But I hope you guys are having an incredible day. And, um, yeah, make sure to stick around. And um, I would love to be doing uh, new game videos and stuff like that. But, unfortunately, the, the finances aren't where I need them to be to justify buying video games. 
So, um, so hopefully this uh, the sponsorship uh, picks up a little bit and um, I can have some funds because there are some cool looking games that are out, that are coming out. Um, what is it? Deliverance? The, the medieval RPG? That looks really cool. The fact that it's not Skyrim, it's not The Witcher, and it looks much more open world. And one of the cool things about that game is that a, um, you know, you, you get a quest, but you don't just get a map marker. You kind of have to find your way. And if the captain of the guard says, hey, I'm going to meet you over here, and you take too long... He continues to go along with the investigation or whatever it is that he's doing. So you could miss out on the entire thing if you go wandering off to do your own thing. So that's kind of cool. The game continues on. You know, that's a big departure from a game like Fallout 4, where you can take all the time in the world, but, you know, Preston and, and company are still going to be attacked at the museum when you get there nothing time doesn't move forward for them just because you're off doing something else but that's a big change in that game and that comes out what next week week after that something like that so that'd be cool and of course i still have not played the new assassin's creed game yeah man being unemployed sucks <laughs> being without money sucks but um but no, it's um, things are, are, are starting to hopefully pick up here soon. And as you can see, I'm, the, the reason I'm rambling on is because you guys can tell exactly what I'm doing. I'm just building up these walls. Now, over here is where I'm going to pick up some of that real estate again. And I'm going to figure it out. No, I don't figure it out until the end of the row. So, <clears throat> all right. So, yeah, anyway. So, um, there aren't any new games that I've picked up I'm I may do a retro game night you guys let me know down in the comment section below you know because I, I have you know games with gold and of course I have some Xbox 360 games that that are now working on Xbox one with backwards compatibility so if you guys would like to see like a retro game night where you know one night a week I just I, I start playing some older game uh, let me know down in the comment section below if that's something that you would like if something you would tune into then um, Then yeah, absolutely. Let me know Yeah here. I realized I went too high, but I want to pick up uh, more real estate And Yeah here I'm looking over and I'm like eh, I can't see the barbed wire that's right underneath me. I went too high so I want to drop it down one, but I also want to pick up real estate. So here, because I put the that trim piece down at the bottom, those will actually snap to that trim piece. So that worked out incredibly well. Now here, I'm just going to shift everything down. No, don't delete it. See, now I can see more of the bridgeway there. So now I begin the process of shifting all this down and hiding. Now, the interesting thing about these little caps here is that they aren't the same exact length. They're actually short. So you can see that gap in between them. And I will show you in a little bit how I take care of that gap. But, uh, but yeah, man, it felt good making a, a Fallout 4 video again. Here's where I'm like, all right, screw it. Just delete them all. Scrap them, scrap them, scrap them. It'll take me much less time to shift this stuff around if I don't have to keep stopping. And of course, because there are so many snap points to these things, I'm trying to fill that gap, and I'm like, ah, screw it. Just be much faster just to stack on top.
So did you guys miss me? Let me know down in the comment section below. It's nice to be missed, let me tell you. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we are going to finish this up. And basically, I'm not putting any more railing or anything up here. The These walls are going to be the railing to make sure that no, no one falls off or I don't fall off. And of course, I'm getting a phone call from Nevada. Everyone I know in Nevada is in my, uh, in my uh, contacts. So any random number from Nevada, yeah, I'm not answering that. Vegas is not calling, trust me. So I went looking on YouTube to see if anyone else had made any build videos at uh, at Fairline Hills and I could not find, well, no, that's not true. I found one guy that had just installed the mod and he was starting to explore there but that was it and he was i want to say he was russian i think so i think he may have been russian so I've, i'm i'm kind of bummed that there aren't more uh, more build videos out there all right so now i am using these pillars come from the uh, workshop rearranged mod and I use them all the time when I'm building because they are just, they're, they're beautiful. I mean, the, the, the textures on them are so good. They have great snap points. So now I'm just gonna get these all placed. And notice I'm placing them where the gaps are in those little caps so that you won't ever see the gaps. Trucking along. Boom. I was trying to decide there, do I want to put one right up against the building right now? And what's funny is that when I get down here to the end, I will put it up, I will put one against the building. But I didn't put one on that end, so I don't know. Hey, I'm a bit rusty. Leave me alone. See, I was trying to get them placed perfectly and I'm like, no, just put them down. I can come back later and get them placed perfectly. All right, now we're gonna put a roof on this thing. Oh yeah, see right there, the gap is to the right. And now there is no gap. And that one has no gap, that one has no gap, no gap, and again. That one has a gap. I can tell because I'm actually looking at the flooring and it should line up perfectly with the, the floor joints. And if it doesn't, then I know that I'm sitting to the left or to the right. You see? There we go. And you know what's sad is that I'm making all these adjustments now and then just a minute after I put the roofs on, I'm going to have to come back and fix them again because they don't line up perfectly with the roof panels. So, could I have edited this out? Yes, but do I wanna show you all the crap that I have to go through? Yes. <laughs> the best laid plans, let me tell you. For some strange reason, my, uh, my video capture did not capture the game audio. So uh, I apologize for the lack of uh, background ambiance that is Fallout 4. Like I said, it's been a while. <laughs> so I don't know why that didn't capture, but I will. Um, or maybe it did and I just didn't allow it. No, it didn't capture at all. So. Come on, find the sweet spot. It's, I mean, it's very, very small. 
And like I said, when, the, the silly thing is, is that I'm making these adjustments and adjust a minute when I put the roofs on and I have to move the poles again, they will snap right into the right position. They will cover the gap, they, you know, and all that stuff. But of course, I didn't know that at this point. I can say that now because I went ahead and recorded. Now I'm just doing a narration. All right. So now you can see one problem. The pillar on the left is much taller than the pillar on the right. So I'm going to run into some issues there. You can see, and then the right pillar in the forefront is higher than the one on the left. I eventually get it. Hey, I want to welcome all uh, new subscribers as well. You know, I've, I've, you guys are still watching some of my older videos. I cannot believe the concrete tips and tricks video. That is my number one video. I filmed that thing, what, right when the DLC came out? Within a week of the DLC coming out? And I, I had many more videos before that, but for some crazy reason, people find that video. I, I don't get it. Here's where I just said, okay, I'm going to put all the roofs on and then we will get all this stuff aligned. But no, I want to welcome new subscribers um, for you guys that are subscribing and following and stuff like that. And if you don't know how to subscribe and follow, you obviously know where the subscribe is. But if you want to follow me so when I post new videos you get a notification, then uh, click on the little bell icon. And that stupid connector is in the way, so I'm just going to park it over here for now. I will fix it later. There we go. All right, so that is snapped into the right spot. And if you notice, it's splitting the gap on the floors. I should have been looking up. There we go. Look at that. And you know what's sad is that I'm going to make, I'm going to screw this up again on the other side. But, uh, of course I get it fixed, but, uh, yeah. There, get your first post set, put the roof on, then come back in and just place the post. Don't do all the posts at one time. Alright, so now I'm going to try and move this thing and it... I can't end up getting it where I want it to, so I end up moving it later, 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 later. That's right there is closer to where I want it to be, so I will get to that. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to put three uh, guard stations up here, just the guard mats, and uh, I'll put three on the other side. And I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I need to do on this side. And the answer to that is no. So um, now I'm making sure that everything looks good. And we're going to run over here and I'm going to kick this video into high gear. Alright, looks cool. And I don't... Oh, I think I'm waiting to get back into build mode. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I stopped right there. Alright, so, yes. Flying mode in the UFO. And now I'm going to kick this video into high gear. As you can see, I'm fixing all my conduits, making sure that they're all 
the same now. All right, let me tell you about my sponsor, Frosty Marketing. If you are a small business owner and you deal with the public, maybe you're an electrician or a plumber or a tow truck operator or a dentist or most small businesses need help with their marketing and Frosty Marketing can help with that. They have great rates, very competitive. It is a small firm, but they uh, definitely know their stuff. And if you need help marketing your company, then get in contact with them. You can visit their website at frostymarketing.com and learn a little bit more about the company. Uh, some of the services they provide are PPC and or pay-per-click and Facebook marketing as well, if it's needed. Not every company needs to be advertising on Facebook. Most service-based companies, like the ones I mentioned, um, would actually be better served by doing a simple uh, Google search or PPC marketing. They also offer text marketing so that you can be in contact with your existing customers to get them to come in more often, as well as uh, reputation management services, social media management. Oh, what else do they offer? Uh, oh, website design, uh, a logo design, and let's see, what else? Man, I have that list around here somewhere. I should have been more on the ball should have been Johnny on the spot with that, huh? But <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, check out frosty marketing. If you need any help getting more customers and the reason why I brought frosty marketing on is because I know that my demographics, uh, my subscriber base is not, um, you, you guys are all age ranges. Yeah, you're certainly not just a bunch of kids. And uh, But there's nothing wrong. Hey, you know what? I, I know a guy that he's 15 years old and has his own company. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> there is that. And you know what? He needs to market too. So uh, let me double check, make sure I didn't forget anything as far as services that they offer. Let's see. I mentioned PPC, Facebook, website, social media management, uh, reputation management, mobile marketing for your existing customers, and oh, SEO services uh, for your website uh, so that you can rank organically. And uh, they also said that they are looking at getting into um, doing press releases for companies to generate more organic traffic. Press releases work great actually uh, for doing organic traffic. To a website because if you if a press release is submitted to the right companies as in the right news outlets then because Google loves news it ranks really highly the article or the press release from all these news sites and uh, he's a uh, uh, Frosty Marketing is looking at partnering with a uh, a company that that's what they do is they 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 push these web releases or these press releases out uh, to all these news sites. So they're getting a lot of exposure for really inexpensive. If you were to have someone write a press release for you, it could cost you four to five hundred dollars and that's not including submitting anywhere or anything like that that is just to write a press release and then you have to hope that the press release is written in such a way that the news organizations want to cover it or post it write an article about it blah 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 the guys that he's looking at partnering with this is what they do they write press releases that get page one results on google and bing and yahoo and all of them so, uh, so yeah, it's very cool. So uh, make sure to check out Frosty Marketing. Uh, stop on over there. Uh, check out the website. And uh, if you need any marketing needs, uh, they are the ones to help you out. All right. So uh, as you can see, I am zooming through all of this. And I'm trying to get the roof sections all lined up. And there we go. 
trying to figure out why that wouldn't snap in. Got it closer to the wall as, as, because there was a gap down at the end, so. Sometimes you just gotta go with what you know, right? See, these pillars are pissing me off. <laughs> yeah. And here's where I start storing them all. And it's uh, something went wrong, and I don't know exactly what it is. And then I fall in the water. But it's not lined up perfectly between the pillars. That's why I was looking for gaps. But as you can see very quickly that... But I know that I'm lined up with the roof section across the way. So I'm like, all right, screw it. I'm just going to uh, put my pillars in. Just like that, Bob's your uncle. All right, so we are going to wrap up this uh, speed section here. I got to put up some railing because that's where I fell off earlier. I'm trying to do it with beams. I try to do it with the uh, the, the, the stone. No, that's not working either. So I end up just uh, going to the old concrete railing. And we'll get that slapped up there. And of course, I'm going to finish out all of the, the back end of this, uh, the back, the sanctuary side of the bridge later. Um, that'll be another video making, you know, the uh, a full like check-in station and all that good stuff. All right, so got a couple more lights that I want to put up, and then we will show you the finished product. How's that sound? If you stuck around this long, God bless you. All right, so here we are at Fort Sanctuary and we are going to look at our finished project. Figured I'd do a fly around. I got everything wired. All my lights are working. And I run into a tree. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great build. I really enjoyed this build. And again, the reason why I picked this stone is it most closely resembles the retaining wall stonework that's already in the game. So I wanted it to look like all the stones were locally sourced. There you can see I put in some turrets, I put in some spotlights. And I still have no stairs to get up there. So we'll call in the UFO. So I have eight guard stations up here on the upper deck. Oh. Up a little bit higher. There we go. So there's uh, two of the uh, guard uh, pads. And then I have three more locations up here. There's one. There's a second one. And then the last one is right down here by the front end of the bridge. Now we'll go take a look at the other side. Uh, it's going to be a mirror of this side. <clears throat> Again, I'm just trying to keep things copacetic at this point. I'm trying to jump through there and it's not working. All right, so let's get turned around. And there she is. Now let's take a look at nighttime. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It has been a ton of fun being back building in Fallout 4. And uh, like I said, I have a couple more ideas of some things that I want to do here at Sanctuary. And um, of course, I'm still trying to figure out different ways of using some of the mods that I already have. Because I have half a gig left of, uh, of available space for more mods. So I'm trying to be as um, judicious with my uh, mod selection as possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there, Wastelanders. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya! Thank you.